Hello and welcome to my Coach Helder channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Wicked Edge's newest addition to their precision knife sharpeners and it is called the We 40 also known as the Carbon. There are a couple differences with this newer sharpener as compared to other models in the Wicked Edge lineup. One of those main differences and probably the one that you're most interested in is the price point. This We 40 comes in at 185 US dollars, which is considerably more budget friendly than any other model that Wicked Edge has put out up until this point. For years, about five years now, that I've been reviewing Wicked Edge uh, knife sharpeners and the scenario that I get all the time from viewers, subscribers, friends, family members is, uh, hey man, that is an awesome knife sharpener but I'm just an average Joe, I cannot afford to spend that kind of money on a knife sharpener. Well, Wicked Edge addressed that problem and designed a precision knife sharpener that the average Joe can afford. Right off the bat, one of the things that does save money on the Wii 40 as compared to other models is that it does not come with a base. Now there are pros and cons to not having the base. Uh, one of the pros being travel, super lightweight, easy to pack, conveniently you could bring it anywhere with you and just utilizing a couple clamps that you could either pick up from Wicked Edge or might even have laying around the home or any hardware store. You can go ahead, fasten it, secure it to whatever tabletop that you are utilizing and you're good to go. So excellent for travel. But for this demonstration, I took one of the bases from my other Wii models and ended up just uh, utilizing the two screws, screwing the Wii 40 into the base just so it's easier for me to convey this information to you. So I received the box from Wicked Edge and inside everything is not put together but it's a very simple process. Uh, Wicked Edge on their website on their support pages will have detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to put the system together and I'll make sure that I put those links in the description as well as in the comments field so be sure to check them out. But as I stated it's a very simple process as you can tell there are the guide rods with the guide rods there's these little round disc shields that look like washers and some o-rings. You can tell where the thumb screws are. There is a little plastic ball, which is basically just a placeholder to protect the Wicked Edge throughout the shipping process. Remove those little balls. Once you put the washer together with an O-ring, washer, O-ring, remove the plastic packaging ball, place the actual ball that's attached to the guide rod into that little area, and you'll see that's a little socket, kind of the same way that your shoulder would operate as far as ball and socket. And then go ahead and just screw that thumb screw down, securing the guide rod in place. And of course, you'll do that on both sides. When it comes to the actual vise that's in the middle, first thing that I notice right off the bat, even from the unboxing, is that there isn't any kind of a tension handle that you find on a few of the other models from Wicked Edge. Now, I noticed that the vise was also made of aluminum, a lot lighter, another excellent feature for traveling and for on-the-go use. And instead of having let's say that little lever to go ahead and tighten up your knife up on top. It has two screws and an Allen key wrench that comes with the sharp. What I really do like about this vise after playing with it for a while is that it's actually divided in half and I didn't find that in other models of Wicked Edge sharpeners that I do own. And what's cool about that is that a lot of the knives out there will start out, let's say, a bit thicker in the back. And as it continues on to the tip, it actually gets more narrow. Now, by having the vise split in half, it's able to address, let's say, that transition from going to thicker to thinner, giving you a much sturdier hold on your knife while it's in the vise. Also, being able to use the screw with the tension levers, let's just say I find it much easier to tighten up my knife by utilizing these screws and applying as much tension as I want or need for that specific knife in order for it to have a nice sturdy hold in that vise, giving me a much more, let's say, customizable hold for the particular knife that I am sharpening. Another nuance that I don't have in my other knife sharpeners from Wicked Edge are these little block stops. And this system comes with three of them, and these are utilized to give you the proper depth for your knife once it is placed in the vise. The shorter blocks, are meant for, let's say, beefier and wider knives, while the taller block is meant for more of these smaller knives. So having these little stops in there are what's gonna give you the proper height for your knife while sharpening, and at the same time, making sure that it's perfectly level while it is mounted in that vise. Wicked Edge recommends at least 5 eighths of an inch 
should be, let's say, above the tip of the vise itself. When it comes to the location of the actual blade and placing it into the vise, what you were actually looking for is the sweet spot. As you're looking at your blade, once it really starts to curve up into that belly, right before that is where you would want to place your knife in the vise. For repeatable results, once you do figure all of that out, the next time that you sharpen that exact knife, you're going to know already what the placement is, and now if you utilize the ruler and match it up, in this case, let's say being the letter B, I know that from now on, every time I sharpen this knife and I place it in there, I want it to align up to the B, and I will be good to go. So the next thing that's left to do is to find the angle that you're going to sharpen your knife with. We're going to take a magic marker, a Sharpie, and we're just going to go ahead and color in the top edge of your blade. From there, you're going to take your stone, the highest grit that you have, let's say at this in this case, if you're using what comes in the box, you would be using the 600, and you're going to go ahead and let's say, you always want to go a little bit wider, so if you think you're maybe at 25 degrees for your knife, you know, let's say you're going to start at 28. The reason for that is if you are wrong, you don't want to go ahead and scratch up the surface of your blade, so it's always better to start wider, and then just give it into a couple strokes and seeing how much and where that ink is coming off. So after just a couple scrubs here, move it in closer, get to a closer degree here and as I'm using the stone I can see that the ink is coming off and from there I'm going to go ahead and set that angle on both sides once again for repeatability write that angle down that way next time that you're gonna sharpen this blade you don't have to go through the same process again saving you time now I mentioned the stones and with this Wii 40 you get one set of stones and it's a 200 and a 600 grit once again something different with this carbon model as opposed to other Wii models are that these stones are inexpensive compared to other stones in the Wicked Edge lineup. Once again, making this Wii 40 much more affordable. Once you get your shiny new stones, they need to be broken in. And these that come with the Wii 40 system break in much faster than the other Wii stones. Downfall is that they also wear out quicker than other Wicked Edge stones. From what Wicked Edge states, you'll get about 300 sharpens as opposed to 700 sharpens with their other stones. But that number 300, that goes a long way. That is a lot of sharpening that you could get out of these stones. It's not something that a couple weeks from now you're gonna have to buy new stones. It doesn't work that way. You're still gonna get those 300 sharpens out of there at the very least. I do recommend purchasing other stones, uh, at least another set possibly the 800 to 1000, 200 and 600 grit that comes with the Wii 40 is more than enough to get your knife sharpened for everyday use. But if you really want that razor edge, I would definitely opt for the 800 to 1000 grit, which definitely brings it to that next level. And the good thing is since you're saving a ton of money by going with this unit, it does leave a little bit of room to add a couple things. And if you are going to add a couple things, I would certainly recommend the addition 800 and 1000 grit stone. With this Wii 40, Wicked Edge includes a practice knife, and there's two main reasons why I like utilizing the practice knife is A, you get to get some practice in, as opposed to using your blade and possibly causing some imper imperfections or taking off much more metal than you should or need to. It's important to get that practice run in, and maybe several practice runs before you actually go and sharpen your more expensive knives or knives that have a lot of meaning to you, because you don't want to mess those up. And now having this where you can mess up and do what you have to do and get your practice in, get your runs in. Reason number two is to break in your stones that we mentioned earlier. The quicker that your sharpening stones get broken in, the better results that you'll have throughout the sharpening process. For this video, I'm actually going to utilize the Wicked Edge practice knife, and that is the knife that I'm going to be sharpening. Safety is always a big concern, so you want to make sure that your thumbs are out of the way. The stones do have lips. So you, make, you want to make sure that your thumbs are tucked away in there, keeping you nice and safe. And as you're starting out with the sharpening process, take your time, go slow, feel the movement, get to know your blade. There's always little nuances that you're going to pick up with experience. The more experience that you have, just the feel and sound that you're getting out of your Wicked Edge system is going to tell you a lot of information about how well the sharpening is going with your knife. Just utilizing this down and forward motion. And what you're looking for here is about 20 passes that you're making on each side. I'm starting out with the 200 grit and making those 20 passes. Once I'm done with those 20 passes, I switch up to the 600 and once again, 20 more passes on those sides. 
keep in mind that I did do more than 20 passes because the stones aren't broken in at all. So I wanted to make sure that I got some good results while I'm filming this video. So I definitely went with more passes than 20. But as soon as these stones are broken in, 20 on each side, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, since I did have the 800 and 1,000 stones, I opted for utilizing them. So once I was done with the 200 and 600, I went to the 800 and ended up finishing up with the 1,000 grit stone to get me the results that I was looking for on the Wicked Edge practice knife. As you could tell here, even with the stones not being fully broken in, being a relatively inexpensive practice knife, still getting very good results being able to cut through this paper with ease. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a Wicked Edge sharpening system, and this time one that is extremely affordable, definitely take a look at this Wii 40 by Wicked Edge.